Hello everyone, it's Yvonne here from the Aussie Goddess to do your weekly reading for the period of the 13th to the 19th of October. This is for the sign of Pisces. Pisces, thank you so much for subscribing to my channel for all the beautiful things you do for me, um, whether they be comments, readings, donations. I love you, thank you so much. Okay, the I, I am using the um, Witch's Tarot here. Just one of my old favourites. I dug it out today. And I will draw you a card from the Wisdom of the Oracle deck when I finish the reading. Okay, so I have the Six of Swords coming out here. So the Six of Swords is a card of moving away from something that no longer serves you. The person in the boat has torrid water on this side and very calm waters on this side which implies they're moving away from this sort of more treacherous time here the person in the boat has all these swords which are all their thoughts and ideas that they're taking with them so there's been lessons learned from this experience page of pentacles coming out behind this so the page of pentacles look at the size of that pentacle so the page of pentacles is a message it's something to do with work, career, uh, money. You may have heard some good news about money or a job here. you perhaps moving away from something else to be accepting this offer. The pages aren't cards of action. They're just, they're just messages. Five of Swords here. So if you've been out of work here um, and you're moving away from that now because you've got conflict coming in here, so it looks like you may have moved away from a job and you're moving forward here. Two cards of moving forward into a new situation and a brand new start with the Ace of Swords. Now, if this isn't about work for you, this is about you moving from situations that no longer serve you, taking your lessons with you and understanding how to move forward here into better times. It looks like you're moving into your truth here, Pisces. So you're starting to understand what living in your truth means. And that means not living the life that someone else has carved out for you, but living the life that is true to who you are. Nice. I like it. Three of Cups here. So the Three of Cups does talk about celebrating with family and friends. Um, I will see if it means any more than that in the moment. There's another card of victory here. So there seems to be this great sense of moving away and celebrating, you know, having a new time in your life where you can now live what you um, and do what you want to do. You don't have to worry anymore. So maybe you've come out of a job that really wasn't great, maybe even a relationship that wasn't great. But whatever it is now, you're going to be true to yourself. Ow! Eight of Swords here. I've seen that card a few times today. You know, it's not the most favourite of cards, but then I say to you, why have you got yourself trapped in this prison? You've got a blindfold on and you've got ropes around you, which are both easily removed, and you could easily take yourself out of all these thoughts and overthinking and worry and stress that you've got yourself sitting behind. Um, so you can move forward here. So maybe you've been in this position a very long time where you've been really caught up in things that were, were from the past or caught up in energies around you that really haven't served you, but you're about to move forward in a big way. There's some sort of message coming in. It sort of makes me feel like the message at the beginning. Um, always with the page of wands, I think this is about really understanding here what this means for you, this change, this new idea, this passion now that you have that you want to shout to the world you've got your intuition in check too which probably you haven't done for a while so maybe you're you're being guided now by your higher self to do what you need to do okay so you may have been through a transformation here um, maybe a period of time where you've sort of had a lay you've had to lay low often this means a period of time where you've been very quiet and you've had time to sit in your own thoughts to think about what it is you want for a cup so you're not happy now so it's like you're looking back here at the past and deciding what is right for you and what is not and maybe you've been doing a lot of what is not right for you maybe a, you know a job or relationships or situation self-employment something that wasn't suiting you because you've now had time 
to understand it's not the direction you want to go in. And I think you've had enough of these stresses and these things that have come before to make you believe there's like a real awakening here because I can feel this energy from what was to what could be. It's like this potential is opening up for you here. Okay, look at this, King of Cups. So you're definitely standing in your power now. You understand, you've got it. It's like you understand your emotions, you understand what your purpose is, you're comfortable with how you're feeling in life and it's like you can sort of breathe this big sigh of relief now Drop the Eight of Swords and move into a new time. Very nice. Yeah, here we go. Look, putting the burdens down. No longer carrying this weight around with you. What was it that was holding you back? Because you now have balance with the temperance. And you know what? The universe is saying, Pisces, the time is right now. This is time for you. You can go and shout it to the rooftops. You can tell the world how you're feeling now. Because nothing can stop you back. It's like you've... You've got hold of what you wanted to get hold of. Something, oh, look at this. <laughs> the fool here taking this leap of faith. You have changed. It's like you've turned everything round. There's been some sort of growth here or some sort of change in you and you'll never go back to the way you were before. That's why you're sailing away here. And I feel it might have something to do with money. So maybe you've, you're have you in a position now to give away something that you perhaps you didn't like the job you were at, didn't like the situation you were in here. A um, lot of conflict here, but you could have quite frankly told someone to sort of shove what they had um, because you're moving forward here into a brand new truth with this Ace of Swords. And that's very, very clear in this reading. So we have you celebrating a victory here after perhaps some sort of awakening or transformation where your life wasn't offering you what you want and now you're putting down the burdens and going after what you want. I think this is a really good time for you because you're letting go of anxiety and overthinking and leaving the past behind, which is awesome. But it's sort of like you really want to shout it out there now you've made that decision. You seem to be really, really comfortable in the emotion of it all. The balance is beautiful and you're ready to jump into whatever comes along next. You're really ready to take a risk. You're ready to do something different. And maybe that is about following your dream here. Finally having perhaps the money or the support here to follow the dream that you've always wanted. Um, that was a few cards then. I wasn't going to take that. Okay, so we'll pull an oracle card for you, Pisces. No, don't want to come out? There we go. Okay, isn't this beautiful? So the card of Between Worlds has come out, which is exactly, I think, where you are at the moment. So it's card number three, because I think you're walking away from your old life and embracing a new life here. Okay, so Between Worlds talks about transitions. Not being quite out of one situation and fully engaged in another, Temporary blindness, no man's land. So between the worlds is where you must let go of the tendency to make assumptions. This is a time when you're unable to see what is ahead. Cultivate curiosity and trust the process of change and growth. You are done learning the lessons of recent experiences. In this place between what was and what will be is a state of making and unmaking and making again. What is essential now is to admit not knowing. There is great freedom and power to be unleashed. A mystery that is not yours to understand weaves the web of life within a divine matrix of consciousness greater than your own thoughts, feelings, beliefs, desires and decisions. The seeds that were planted in the past begin to take root, but what surfaces will probably not be what you expect. When you are between the worlds, you are invited to see with the curious eyes of a child glimpsing a rainbow for the first time. Do so and you will not be disappointed. So there it is. You're about to birth something new. You know where you're going. But it's saying just trust. Don't make presumptions or assumptions on things. Thanks, Pisces.